guys, it's me, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back. And I know I don't usually do like hauls and stuff like that, like, but I was um, able to stop by one of our thrift stores the other day and we have, it's a Habitat for Humanity um, thrift store and they have a really good deal on books. They used to be really expensive and then I think they figured out that um, they didn't sell very many <laughs> and then they got like an overload of books and so now they're very reasonable and they don't have a whole you know stacks and stacks and stacks of books that never sell but look at some of the neat things I found for making some junk journals this is um, basically it's a textbook and it's about letter writing and it's from the 1940s 1940 uh, yeah 1940 and it does have some water damage. The book is, is warped, um, but the pages are actually okay. So I will be able to easily, very carefully take this apart. And they don't even need tea stained. They're already stained. <laughs> um, yeah, and so we can utilize an old book that maybe would go to the trash heap because it's warped and water damaged. Um, but we'll utilize it in some junk journals. Here is a book, it's called Dictionary of Quotations, and this is not an old book. It's from, I don't know, the 70s, but it had nice yellowed pages and some great, great text in here. Just some beautiful, beautiful things um, that I think will look great in junk journals too. And look at, look at that, look at all the pages I got. And then, whoa! So, all these books were a buck a piece. That's, that's it, they were a buck a piece. Look at this guy, oh my goodness. It is uh, almost three and a half inches thick. Oh my goodness, it's massive. And of course, this is not old either. Um, it's just a dictionary. And I have lots and lots and lots, but this one is it's, yeah, 1989, it, it's not old. But look how big the pages are. So, and they're already somewhat yellowed. So I don't even think these need um, tea staining. I think I can very carefully take these apart as I need and use them in junk journals too. And they're not super thin. <sighs> so anyway, man, go get a dictionary, right? Look at all that, look at all that paper. <laughs> so, three great finds there, and then I have something else to show you, so I will click this off and click something else on. Wasn't that cool? So I found that sewing machine on Craigslist. It's an old Singer 401A Special, and it is in phenomenal shape. And I am going through it, and I'm taking, I took the bottom off, I'm taking the top off. Um, it's extremely clean on the inside, but I'm gonna make sure all the gears are greased. I'm gonna make sure where you're supposed to drop um, oil in the little oil ports. I'm gonna make sure everything is all oiled up and nice and lubricated and so that, um, I haven't even turned it on yet because I'm afraid to turn it on. Um, even though the nice lady says it works, I'm gonna oil it and grease it first before I turn it on. I don't wanna stress anything out um, if there would happen to be I don't know, not enough oil in a certain spot or not enough grease in a certain spot. So that's what I'm doing first. And then I will let you guys um, see that little lady when she is finished. Um, I thought you might like that. Um, let's see what else is going on. Um, 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 um. Um, getting some, um, some journals made right now, hopefully to go on the Etsy store next week. And um, there's also the Graphics Fairy Design Team project is done. It's filmed. It'll be on her YouTube channel next Wednesday. Mm -mm -mm. And I think that's it for the moment. Oh, and the um, end of the year sale is coming up really soon. And I will be giving you guys some more information on that. 
And um, I also have a little DIY thing that I want to do, but I didn't want to, you know, combine it with the haul thingy here. So, so I'll do a little DIY thing for you come very soon as well. All right, guys, I hope everybody is having a great weekend, and I will see you really, really soon in the next video. Bye, guys.